Hi, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and this is the September energy update. Remember to stay to the very end because I will be doing an activation. So September update, the energy frequency for September is what I would call like fire, okay? When we think about fire, what does fire do? Like if we have fire happening and it's burning forests down, okay? You have fire. Fire is like an intense energy. It's like a hot energy, a burning energy, but it destroys, it you know, it annihilates, it disintegrates. It does all kinds of things that literally wipes things out, okay? So when you think about fire for the energy frequency for the month of September, um, when I tra track into that energy of fire, what, that, what does that mean for, for all of us? So, okay, first thing that's starting to present as I'm describing it is I'm seeing like the energy like coming through everyone's life because it's global. It doesn't just the United States, it's global. So as that energy comes through, the first, it's like a wave of energy that comes more like on the surface, okay? So it's not, in this moment, it's not going deep, deep, deep into the subconscious. It's, it's a fiery frequency. Oh, that's what's up, I know I understand. Okay, so it's like this. It's, um, so you have things happening in your world, you're, um, you know, you're on your journey, you're on your path, and, and we've had a lot of intense things happening over the past several, well, the past year but intense stuff over this past several months has felt really intense. A lot of people are feeling a lot of intensity, but what's happening with the fire, I can energetically see that frequency of the burning, that fire as it comes through everyone's life. What it's doing is kind of like taking the debris, like the, like if you looked at a forest, okay. And you, and you're going to burn off all the ground stuff, not all the trees, but you like a quick burn, We'll go through and get the brush and the, the dead leaves, that type of stuff. Okay. So it's almost like a you're cleaning stuff up. So for the for us, for people, there's a frequency where debris, like the, the stuff that's been in your awareness and you've been working on and getting, you know, pulling stuff up from the subconscious and doing your inner work. Well, there's still the debris in the energy frequency in your energy field of a lot of the things that you've been letting go of, you know, waking up to, and then letting, uh, as it comes, you know, you're processing it. Maybe you're going through some of the emotions of stuff, uh, beginning activated, getting triggered, and you're, you know, you've gone through things and, you know, gone through some really deep emotional places. And now it's like, it's almost like a cleanup of the, the frequency of the energies that you've been processing. So for example, let's just say like, like for some of you, it'll, different things will be happening for everyone, but for some of you, let's just say that you are ending a relationship, okay? Uh, still trying to question whether or not you should end it or is this the right choice? But in the ending of it, the, all the emotions that were coming up through that, okay? So when we end a relationship, we can feel loss, even though we may want that, we're still going to feel loss. We can still feel abandoned or even rejected, even though we want the ending because we feel it's the best. Um, but those emotions, okay, those emotions, we've processed them, we've gone through them, okay? So that fire frequency, what it's doing is it's kind of like burning off the residuals of those emotions and clearing and, and releasing those energy frequencies out of your energy field. Okay. Another thing can be like, if someone has uh, like they're uh, having going through some health issues and, you know, you go through all the emotions of that, maybe uh, you've got some bad news or something and you have worry and concern and, you've dropped into all the emotions, you've, you know, you've let yourself really go into these feeling places of maybe feeling helpless and hopeless, maybe feeling devastated, maybe feeling, you know, like there's nothing you can do, or maybe uh, you just have this feel or sense of, of, um, you know, disaster, you know, something really intense. So you've gone through these emotions. So the fire is coming through and it's burning off those energy frequencies that you've already gone through that you have felt 
but there's still some residuals. So in a sense, it's a good thing because when we think about cleaning up a forest floor, what it does is it allows for new growth. Think about that, okay? So you burn everything off, all that debris, burn off the leaves and then burn off all the brush. And then all of a sudden, come you know later down the road, come spring, you've got new growth happening, brand new growth, fresh, clean. And that's what's happening. The fire, think of fire, it purifies, it's a purification, okay? It's also when we think about people going into the fire, you know, when we talk about, you know, transformation, transmuting things. So the fire is hot, it burns. So in a sense, it's actually a good thing. Okay. And there's another component to it as I'm tracking the energy. And it has to do with not just burning off the debris, like once the debris like that gets burned off, then the energy of that fire is literally going to be coming in into the very core of our, our being, our bodies, the emotional body. Okay. So the fire is going to be coming in and there's nothing, how can I say this? It's almost like as I'm watching it, there's nothing stopping it, meaning there's no big old limbs stopping it from coming in. So that fire energy is going to be coming in to the subconscious, but it's coming into the core like a fire coming into the core. And think about this. And when you, when you look at the chakras, there's a, a, um, a channel that connects the chakras, okay? That all the chakras are connected with this core, this channel, this light channel. But this channel goes and hits all of the chakras, okay? So as that fire comes into the core that connects the chakras, not only is it coming into the core to burn off debris, burn off frequencies, again, that have already been lifted, that have already been revealed, exposed. So it's cleaning that up, but the fire is going to be hitting every single chakra, your crown chakra, your third eye, basically all your chakras, okay? So the fire is coming through that core, and it's going to be going into the chakras, and what's going to be happening is the, uh, like, uh, like if we look at that first chakra, remember first chakra is life, death, survival. Okay. So again, there's still that place where you have been doing inner work on some level and there's uh, the loosening, there's, there's movement happening. So now as that fire goes into that first chakra, those places and feelings where we, that life, death, you know, that survival get, gets kicked in. That's what's going to be happening is the fire is going in and I can literally see that energy burning right into the very core of that chakra of that life, death, survival. Oh, this is cool, actually. So what I'm seeing is the ancient, ancient, ancient energies of that life, death, survival in you, okay, in your first chakra. And as that fire comes in, it's hitting like the very, it's going right into the blackest, blackest area of that chakra and the fire starts to burn, okay? And as it's burning, that black in it, because black means it's gone sub, really deeply subconscious. It's in your subconscious. You don't have no awareness of it, but your behaviors, your life experiences show you, okay? So in that very core, that feeling of literally that place where we hit, you know, the survival, like we're going to die. I'm going to die. You know, that survival frequency, that terror, mm, terror right there. So what's happening is that fire is literally burning these energies, which is a good thing because as it's burning these energies, it's dissolving these frequencies. And then it's coming fuller into the chakra and burning off even more of those really intense em emotions that are lodged in the subconscious. So they're burning off, which is really actually good. Okay. Cause burning it off means it's disintegrating, dissolving, turning to ash. And what that means for you is you're not going to have the, such a great intensity, the intensity of life, death, survival. It's almost like rather than going into the, the horrors and the crisis of that, it's getting burned off. So you're not going to have that intense, crisis okay it's really a good thing and then when we come up to that second chakra second chakra is all the emotions this is the emotions and sexual energy 
That's what gets lodged in that second chakra. So as the fire comes into that chakra, it comes right in. And it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. This is cool. So what I'm seeing is that the fire, I just saw images of things like guilt and shame, regret, you know, sexual stuff, people's distortions around sexuality, um, things that have happened sexually that have caused damage, severe damage, emotional damage, um, the carryover of all the past lives of losses and not being loved and the abandonments and rejections and humiliations, all of these energies that are lodged in that second chakra are being burned. The fire is burning them. This is so cool on some level. Okay, wow, this is like being graced on some level. Okay, so as we come in, those intense energies, the guilt, the shames, all the things I've already labeled, those things start to disintegrate, dissolve from the fire. The fire is coming in, burning off. In a, in a sense, it's like, all this stuff that you've carried over, even the karmic stuff and the carryovers, um, things are being disintegrated. This is part of the new paradigm as well. The light of the new paradigm is also assisting this. So as, as it's dissolving, a lot of the emotions that we would normally have to go through in order to clear them are being burned off. The fire is burning them off. Dissolve, dissolve, clear, release, done. Okay, it's really a good thing. Okay. Then we come up to the power center, the, you know, that fire coming in, fire coming into that third chakra. Ooh, this is your personal power. This is uh, where we, you know, you step into the world where you become visible, okay? Or you're hiding, hiding, okay? So what's happening in that third chakra is the fire's coming in. It's burning off misperceptions and beliefs around your own self where maybe you're thinking you're not very powerful. Maybe you're thinking not really important or you, that you can't contribute or you don't matter, okay? So these misperceptions are being dissolved, burned, burned, burned. So some of the things that you've been living with that I labeled, you know, that feeling like, you know, you're never, you know, you're, no, you're not great. You're just mundane or you don't really matter. Uh, you're disempowered that personal power, the personal inner strength, the ability to just really shine has been diffused. Well, now all those debris, all the energy frequencies that have been blocking you, stopping you from really just shining and really stepping up and really just saying, hey, here I am. Okay. So that energy is also being dissolved. So it's going to allow for you to just start to experience yourself in a way that you actually haven't been in that feeling that personal power, just feeling like, wow, confident. I belong here. I matter. I've got something to offer. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. So then we come up to the heart chakra. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is actually really cool. So in the heart chakra, literally it's coming. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So it's coming in. The fire's coming in. And it's, it's going to be hitting places like I'm seeing like blockages, okay, interferences where we protect our heart, okay? Sometimes when we believe that, or not believe, <laughs> sorry, when we've been hurt, we feel hurt, we've had loss, we've had devastation, whatever. So we've got this hurt. We put barriers up trying to protect ourselves from ever being hurt again, or, or we pull ourselves back, pull ourselves in so that we don't have to feel that and we have a belief that if I protect my heart, then I won't have to feel this pain again. That simply isn't true, but it's what we do. That's what I did in my life, okay? Oh, I got hurt, lost, lost a partner, relationship. Oh, I'm devastated. My heart's broken. Oh, I'll never love again, you know? <laughs> so we're blockages. That fire is coming in. Oh, this is cool. I, even, I just got a saw, a, a glimmer of, of people that, that even have been closing the heart thinking that they don't really want love, all, all these misperceptions, this is also our unconditional love when we feel unconditional love, all these misperceptions are just going to be dissolved, dissolved, dissolved. So you may have had a belief or a feeling like I have had that, oh, don't need no love, don't need relationship, nah, I'm good, okay? Burning, burning, burning. So the truth can be revealed because here's the deal. We are programmed to unite, we are programmed. Our whole everything about us, us is programmed to unite. That's it. We have a propensity to unite. We want to come together. We want to 
be with others, okay? And, and usually like people like, like myself and others that are like hermits and recluses, that type of thing. It's still in there. We've, it's, a, it's the damage that has caused people to not believe that or not to want to be in community or with other people, okay? It's not the truth. It's not an absolute. But what's happening now is that that fire comes in. It's going to be burning off the misperceptions, which is really good because misperceptions are based on conclusions and beliefs based on hurt, broken heart. Okay. So fire coming in, burning off, misperceptions, beliefs, conclusions, heartache, heartbreak, light opening, 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 dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. So the heart begins to open to the truth of who you are in the very core, which is just pure love and light. Okay. We want to be pure love and light because it's what, who we are. So that's going to be it's dissolved. So the heart's going to be more open. So frequencies, again, the fire is just burning, burning, burning. You're not having to go through major stuff. It's just burning, burning, burning and dissolving. So that heart begins to shine its light, more pure light. Okay. Now we come up to that throat chakra. This is your communication. A lot of damage here. You know, people have been hurt for speaking, you know, expressing you know, just being truthful, just being yourself, you know, you've been condemned, you've been humiliated, shamed, tortured, abused, killed, heinous crimes, okay? You've also done it to others. But what's happening now is that fire comes in. Again, it's doing that purification. It's like I can see in that communication, that throat chakra, I can see all the different ways in which people have been shut down, blocked, afraid, fearing for their own well-being, fearing for their lives because of the communication. Like, you know, when you think about all the different big things that have happened in our past, in the past, you know, like the Crusades and different things that, that have affected people. <clears throat> so the, the energy frequencies are being burned off, the, uh, the, the terrors, the fears, the feeling of holding yourself back because there's a fear that something you'll be condemned or something bad will happen. All these frequencies are just dissolving, 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 burning, 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 burning off, clearing, 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 which is really beautiful. So that ability to can be able to communicate without such fear or terror or lockdown or feeling like you're choking up or you can't express the fire is just helping to burn off all the traumas and the different things that have happened in your life stream, what you've experienced, what you've carried forth, just dissolving, dissolving, dissolving. So it's allowing for this communication to open up and then also to not be afraid to be able to express ourselves more freely, like more clarity will be happening as well, which is actually really, you know, really beautiful. Then we come up to that the third eye. And that sh the chakra in the third eye, that energy, when the fire's coming through, ooh, this is good too. All right, okay. So what's happening is a lot of people have blockages in that third eye. Some of them, some people have literally done it themselves. Like, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna see, no, okay? People get afraid. So what's happening, and also the atrocities that you have seen, people don't wanna see them. People don't want to see some of the sights and the things that we do see with our third eye. So what's happening there, same thing. The debris of the horrors that we have seen, the debris of some of the things that we have in our past, or even in this lifetime that we have seen through that third eye, is just it's just like the debris, the pain of it, the horror of it, the, the sight. That sometimes we see something that's like, whoa, that was so intense, and it feels like it's burned in your brain and you don't ever want to see it again okay but it's there so what's happening is that third eye frequency the fire coming through that third eye it's just going to begin to dissolve some of those intense memories those intense things that you saw it'll be diffusing it doesn't mean that the sights will go away but what it means is the intensity of it it'll be more removed like if you're seeing something that you won't have such a big emotional reaction it's like it's just going to be smoothing things out, releasing energy, dissolving frequencies, intensities, moving right through that third eye. Okay, so it's actually a really good thing. And then we have the crown chakra, which people have a lot of blockages in here. The crown chakra connects us to our own higher levels, our higher self, God self, super consciousness. It goes directly to God creator consciousness itself, God itself. So when we have blockages in here, we find ourselves like 
um, feeling disconnected, find, feeling like we can't, you know, feel that connection or feel love from creation or our own love towards creation or love, okay? It's that crown chakra that all that information comes through at the higher, higher levels and the higher frequencies, okay? And this is also where our direct knowing comes from. Direct knowing comes directly from our own selves coming in and creation that comes through all of the aspects of who we are. So with the fire coming through that area, again, it's going to be burning off some of the debris, like we, um, some of the beliefs of, of um, like beliefs around creation, beliefs around God, beliefs around who we are, what we can do, what we're capable of, what we can't do. There's all this connection. It also hits into like our nervous system, digestive system. It comes all the way down into the physical body. So that crown chakra, as that fire is coming through, it's also dissolving beliefs, misperceptions, conclusions about God, okay? About our connection to God. Also that feeling like every human being, if unless you've done your inner work, you're going to feel forsaken, guaranteed. It's inside of everyone, okay? Until it's not, okay? But that all these feelings of being forsaken, of not being loved, you know, all those issues that people have with God, I'm going to be punished, I'm bad, you know, so what happened? We try to hide. We think we're going to be judged, punished. So what do we do? We try to hide. We block ourselves off, okay? The fire is opening up and dissolving those emotional frequencies that we've utilized to block ourselves off, mm -mm, burning, 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 open. How cool is that? So they're just going to open, 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 burning off the debris, misperceptions, conclusions, beliefs about what we think our connection with God is, all of that. So that begins to open our whole energy frequency. So we begin to have a deeper knowing that comes through. We begin to have guidance, okay? We start feeling our higher levels communicating with us. I mean, it's really cool. So basically the, the month of, of September, the fire is really profound in a really good way. That's what it looks like to me. It's going to be an awesome month of transformation. You know, think about fire, 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 the transmutation of what happens with fire. Okay. So we got really cool stuff to support you in this. We have some group clearings coming up. And we have one on September 13th, uh, and it's get your dream job, okay? So we're going to open up the energy frequency, dissolve stuff in the way, so you, you can get your dream job, all right? What you want, what you deserve, okay? And then Sarah, Accelerator Sarah, is going to be doing a clearing on uh, September 18th, and anger, and it has, it's the protector of... Hang on, you guys, I can't see it. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Anger, the protector of vulnerability. Okay, so that's with Sarah. Then we have another one with me on the 27th. This is going to be cool. This is the bad seed. Okay, this is about people who feel like they, you know, they're just born bad. They're the bad seed. You know, the bad seed in the family, bad seed in life, whatever. Okay, but there's a lot of poor me in there. Okay, so that's going to be a great one to clean up. Right. So, you want to make sure you get in on those kinds of things. Now, let's we'll go ahead. I'm going to do a little activation for the fire because what we really want, we want to open. We want to say, yes, bring it on, dissolve this stuff because it's going to make your life easier. It's going to make your, your process of waking up and your journey of healing faster and easier. So, rather than resisting, we want to say yes. Okay. So, we're going to do a little activation the fire to receive and say yes to that fire. So I'm just going to go right into your core. I'm going to go right into your own light, that light that you all, everyone has. I'm going to begin to expand that light, expanding that light inside of you to be able to receive the fire. Opening, 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 opening. Now I'm going to literally come in. I'm going to actually use a frequency of fire, come into that very deep place of your own divine light, that frequency you, creator, frequency, God consciousness inside of you, your own light right in there. Now I'm going to put a fire in there and then an app that up, a fire coming right in there. Stop. Stop. Good, 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 good. Stop. There we go. There we go. Fire, fire, fire. This will just allow that fire to get brighter, stronger and do its job, do its work and 
make things. Yeah, this is good. This is good. All right. So September fire. 